Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. I'm about to finish doing my makeup and I just realized how overgrown my bangs are. I styled them but they're way too long, like look at this. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna grow them out but at the same time I like having these sort of side bangs so I need to have them trimmed. I'm gonna use this Chanel blush stick in Rouge Frais. Um, I love it, love this color. It's so sunny today, it's incredible and you can hear the birds chirping. It just lifts my mood right away. So, that's super nice. Um, can you hear that? My skin has been so bad these past couple of days. I don't really know what's going on. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but there's so much texture and bumpiness in here. Like I'm breaking out. Can you see? So I'm like frustrated because I don't know, I haven't really changed anything. So I don't know what's up with that. I feel like it's not a reaction to a product, but more coming from within, so maybe something I ate, maybe hormones, maybe um, stress or something, I don't know, but it's so like bumpy all over. By the way, thank you guys for so many lovely comments on the vlogs. I love going through your comments and replying to them. And a few of you said that you would like to see a jewelry insert, so I'm gonna keep that in mind and definitely share my jewelry collection but i'm waiting on a necklace to be made so i think i'm gonna film it once it's done and i have it on me you'll have to wait a little bit if that's okay uh to line my lips i'm using la visa from kaya i honestly love this lip liner so much and i don't know if you can tell but it pretty much is my lip color so it's nice to define the shape of um, my lips and I slightly overline them. Yeah, it's exactly my lip color. It just blends in. It's so nice. I cannot recommend it enough. For lip gloss, I'm gonna use Kylie Cosmetics in Always Shining. That I mentioned before. It's just a pretty... a very pretty gloss. Um, yeah, so I wanted to tell you guys that we went to see Four things in the cinema. It's still on, I think. And I love the movie so much. Like the the scenography, the costumes, the whole aura of the film was so it's like otherworldly, it's weird, it's beautiful, it's interesting and inspiring. It was definitely such a feast for the eyes. Like visually, it's like a cinematic masterpiece. Emma was absolutely incredible and I had Daniel Defoe, Marcus Ruffalo. They were all so good and yeah, highly recommend watching the movie. Um, it's not exactly what I expected. I don't know what I expected. I didn't have too many expectations. I just heard people um, talk about and rave about it. So at the beginning it was very shocking and weird, but then the whole film is super odd and really good. Just, yeah, go and see it. Guys, I wanna show you Small Small Sky Dice earrings. Gold earrings with diamonds and so, so special. They come in gold as well without the diamond. And I love these ones, they're like little gold petals. So I kind of want to get these myself and um, maybe get another piercing. I had a piercing here before um, and it wouldn't heal. So I took it out and it just closed off. And now I kind of want to get it pierced again and have this um, earring here. And then she also has these beautiful rings. Um, so this one is from Samana's Dot Collection. But one of my personal favorites is this one. Look at that. I want to get this one myself. So this is called The Line. Look how pretty this combination is. Twig, earring, little petal and the dot. And I really want to get this mold removed here.
Hey guys, I just had another meeting. It's such a beautiful sunny day today. This is what we're having for dinner. It's just a bowl with quinoa uh, and lots and lots of vegetables and chimichurri sauce on top left over from burrita night. I just made this monochromatic arrangement and I'm gonna post it on TikTok and Reels on Umi Instagram as well. So you can watch me making it if you're interested. But yeah, I love this one. So creamy and just fluffy. These are all of the Women's Day orders for today. All wrapped up. today. Today is Kazuko Morgan, which is a big, big Actually, it was so sunny market day of two days. It's so beautiful. They're handmade and they're like 60 euros, which is crazy. It's so beautiful. We're getting one. Uh, I'm in love with this bowl. It's really so perfect for salad. found some really beautiful ceramic pieces. It is so cold today, I cannot even describe, like my whole body is frozen. It's three degrees, but yeah, like I feel it's incredibly cold because we're walking super slow because the market is full of people. You're like, you, you can barely see what's being sold because you're like in this you're going with the flow of people. Um, we're now going to a gallery. I got the most beautiful handmade gloves. Let me put them on. How pretty. I feel like Bella Baxter. These are like smashed cucumbers with chili.
and the fries here are really good. I want to show you guys what we got at the market. So I got this crocheted piece for the table. It's so beautiful and everything is handmade obviously. Yeah, I just think it's gorgeous and I love crocheted things. Then we got this bowl which will be perfect for a salad. It's like traditional Lithuanian bowl which I thought is so beautiful and it looks just stunning on this crocheted piece in my opinion. Um, then I got these gloves, they're so special. And then I got this um, hand knitted bow. It came in quite a few different colors and it's got a hair tie on it. So you can wear it in your hair. So I got it, super cute. And we also got two bags of bagels. So these are with sesame seeds and these with poppy seeds. Hey guys, I want to show you a quick little spring bulb um, thing that you can do for your home. This is just a little something to make your home feel more springy. So I have lots of bulb flowers. Um, I got these beautiful bowls at a market recently and this we would use for salad but you can plant bulb flowers and then use it for food later on. Um, so yeah, some of these are from the garden center and some are just from the supermarket, like these Narcissi, but they died, they were so pretty. Um, it's just overgrown, like this is a bit of a mess, so I'm not gonna use this baby, but I'm gonna use these much smaller ones, so I do recommend getting like hyacinths, um, look, this is a, a blue one blue hyacinthus and it's like coming out it's gonna be so pretty this will be a pink one and there are five in the little bowl and then this one is like one is super long so i'm not gonna use that these ones are dying already because they have been sitting here at home for a little while before i decided to do this project Okay, so what you're gonna need is some drainage, but it's not it's not obligatory. I'm just gonna use these drainage pebbles just at the bottom of the pot. Then you're gonna wanna add some compost into your bowl. Simply take the bulbs out like this. They come out really easily and just plunk them in your bowl. So yeah, maybe I should use this one for the smaller bowl and this one for this bowl. And I wanted to get some muscari and paper whites to make a nice um, little mix of different flowers. So you can totally do that, but they were out of, out of stock basically at the garden center. Ideally, I would love to have a bit of muscari here mixed in with the hyacinths but like you can make any combination that you want just add some more compost this by no means is my idea i see it done loads by my favorite florists and i always really like this idea so i thought i would share with you guys um you know those of you who watch my channel in case you haven't seen it before so that you could do it at home it's so lovely for the upcoming Easter. And then I had lots of moss, like a big box of moss in the balcony from a project I did recently. Well, not recently, like a couple months ago. But the nice thing with moss is when you buy it, you can always revive it. So it's like it lasts forever. So the moss in the balcony dried off. So you just need to rehydrate it again. And then it comes back to life and becomes fluffy again. So um, never throw out moss because you can always reuse it for something like this. And I think it just looks so sweet. Um, yeah, like a little spring um, bulb bowl for your table. Let it drink some water. Then you will see that in a week or a couple of weeks, um, 
the hyacinths will grow whatever you're using muscari it doesn't matter it will look so beautiful and colorful so yeah this is like a spring bowl and if you want you can add spring branches um like this to decorate with so this is more of a wild look I think I don't want the branches. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. Add a bit of drainage. And because the moss sort of um, stores hydration, it's gonna ensure that your bulb flowers will stay hydrated a little bit longer. So now we're just gonna wait for them to bloom and I'm gonna have these on the table, which is so cute. So just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, try it at home, it's super simple and easy to do. These little pots with hyacinths cost like three, four, sometimes two euros. Super inexpensive, like this one with five hyacinths was like four euros, which is amazing and um, yeah, it's a nice, lovely spring decoration. So I'm gonna sign up here. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in the next one.